Assalamualaikum to Dr. Sohaili. Uh, I am Nur Atika Binti Anwar. My metric number is 181710. So today I will present my research proposal which is titled Methylisothiazolinan in skincare products causes allergic contact dermatitis and I'm doing a repeated open application study. So this is the introduction. Uh, the background is the truth in aging describes methylisothiazolinan is a strong biocide used as a preservative in cosmetic and skincare products. The problem statement in this research is to uh, due to the problem arise with the wide usage of MI in the skincare products which lead to increased frequency of allergy to this preservative. Next, the frequency of allergy cases has increased along with the application of MI in the European Union where the study of MI have been well explained as cited in Lundorf, Tyson, Zakaria, uh, 2010. Okay, this is the goal of my study uh, which is to determine the effect of MI to consumer of skincare product or live on product especially to those having MI allergy reaction. The objective is to evaluate whether the authorized concentration of MI in skincare product have a risk to cause MI contact allergy. Besides, uh, it is to determine the prevalence of MI contact allergy. The hypothesis of this study is that MI can cause a skin allergy among dermatitis patients. Uh, this is the list of my literature review that I use in my research. There are, so this is one uh, article, this is second article, third, fourth. So there are total in uh, four, arti four articles I use as uh, literature review. Okay. Next, I will explain the method of my study uh, in briefly. So first of all, it is 44 subjects from 500 people in population at Puchong Perdana are involved in this research. Each 11 subjects are randomly assigned to 150 and 5 ppm of concentration uh, of a cream preserved with MI. Next, 11 non-MI allergic subjects are randomly assigned to a control group. Blinding the subjects and researcher in order to avoid bias in the study. Uh, subjects will apply the cream for twice daily for 21 consecutive days on the flexural molar area of the forearm. A sufficient cream will be applied to cover the area of 3 times 3 to 5 times 5 cm. Okay, next is uh, this is the research plan uh, that's starting from November 2017 and ended at May 2018. Okay. The expected result, I plan uh, first, I made this table, uh, which consists of concentration of MI in cream, uh, control 100 ppm, 50 and 5 ppm, and then there's a prevalence of MI contact allergy. Um, Prevalent, uh, the prevalence in this study, I con I use it as a percentage. The prevalence of MI contact allergy is expected decreases with application of low concentration of MI in the cream, which is 5 ppm MI rather than 100 ppm and 50 ppm MI. Next, the control group is expected showing no reaction to the cream because the control group in this study I use uh, as a negative control means uh, the subjects uh, has the subjects have no uh, dermatitis uh, uh, disease and also are not giving the cream that preserved with MI means that they they receive the same they receive the same cream but the cream doesn't preserve with MI Okay, the positive outcome in the form of eczematous dermatitis will be observed and measured after 21 days. Okay. And this is the references I use uh, in my research proposal. Okay. And that's all. Thank you.